welcome back this is page six and I have finally finished decorating it and I still haven't done page five I will explain quickly this is because I'm not too sure what papers are going to be left over <coughs> so I'm going to decorate page five and ten very very last and see what I've got to coordinate with them okay so as you can remember page six coordinates with page one page one page six so they are the same just slightly mirrored uh, so I've got the magnet at the bottom here this flips up lots of space lots of space another magnet here this opens up this is slightly differently decorated to the first one uh, this here uh, this flips open flap and I decided to put plain red which hasn't dried yet I really should leave these out to dry shouldn't I let's take these out now and I will leave these to dry <laughs> okay uh, where was I ah oh, yes so this opens up and you have the tag and a pocket and a pocket now on page one this was only an inch high because it coordinated with this pocket which was smaller so this pocket is actually bigger on this one it comes up slightly higher it's quite a bit lower on the other one on page one but other than that they are the same and I use the same set of papers but opposite so where the Merry Christmas papers is are is where the Merry Christmas papers are also on here but where the Robin paper is I've used the poinsettia and where the poinsettia paper is I've used the Robin paper so yeah, mirror images so that's paid on oh, there's also obviously pocket flip flip pocket lots of space da -da 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 -da. so page six is complete so i'll pop that on the back of page five which like i see it's not been decorated yet so that's one two now page seven coordinates with page two so what did I do here? We have a large pocket. We have oh we have it opens, it opens with a pocket. I'm wondering if that's the pocket that I used in page one by accident. <laughs> um one magnet and two magnets, top and bottom. So pocket, flat, flat, pocket, opens up pocket belly band opens up lots of space pocket <sighs> and I need the red and the green and the music paper so I've got to stop saying so all the time I think where I've got the green I'll have the red where I have the red I'll have the green and the music paper I'll keep the same I think that's what I'm going to do on that one pretty sure uh, which makes it slightly easier because both the red and the green are not directional that does make it slightly easier I am um, if I'd if I'd done this again um, and thought about how I'm using the papers I would not have used all of this tartan paper either inside or outside because I haven't got enough I've had to luckily I did have another spare sheet I could have gone into the 8x8 sheet oh excuse me but then I know that would have been slightly different um, but I did have another 12 by 12 sheet and I've had to open it to take out more of this paper uh, like I said I could have used the 8x8 which probably would have been a better thing to do but I wanted it to be all the same I think it would have noticed <laughs> being a bit pedantic about it all so this page my tags over there to dry I'm pretty sure is all here ready cut out don't think there's anything else in there um, yeah, that's the next page so 
pretty sure this is all of it. So I should have... This looks like pocket each side. Belly band was the front flap. So base page, flap with a pocket and a belly band, flap with a pocket and the front. Base page, that's all the same. That is the pocket bit for the front. Flap, flap. Pocket, pocket, belly band, that's all there. And as you can see, I've made it easy for myself by cutting these ahead of time. So this I know is eight and three quarters by, what's this one? Eight, uh, one and a quarter. So it's eight and three quarters by one and a quarter and I've scored it at half an inch from each end. So I scored it at half an inch and eight and a quarter and that makes the belly band like I said that um, I always my belly bands are always just pieces of scrap that I have right let's get the measurements for the rest of it and as you can see I have already cut all my edges onto this so you need two that are eight and three quarters by five and on the eight and three quarter inch side, score them at half an inch in from each end. So it's that half inch and eight and a quarter. And you want two of those. That's been marked. And that's been marked. So there's my two pockets there. We've done the belly band. You want one small pocket. That is six by this is four and five eighths now on the six inch side i've scored this at three eighths of an inch and five and a half inches and that's just so that it can fit into the middle gap I've taken away an extra bit with this. This is why this flap is slightly bigger to this side because I want it slightly smaller to fit, fit into the gap I've made. For the two uh, pockets, this is the outer pocket. So this is uh, seven and three quarters by five and a half and I've scored it at half an inch. This one is seven and three quarters by five and a half and i've scored it, it scored it at three eighths of an inch rather than half an inch then we have one piece that should be seven by seven and three quarters and it is one piece that is Uh, seven by eight and three quarters and on the eight and three quarter inch side it is scored at half an inch and eight and a quarter inches oh there is another piece that is seven by seven and three quarters so that's two of those together and the base page which is seven no it's not it's eight and a quarter on the eight and a quarter inch side uh, score it at half an inch turn it round score it then along the 11 inch side this is 11 inches long score it at one and three quarter inches two inches nine inches and nine and a quarter inches so that's one one and three quarters I don't know if I said that probably one and three quarters two nine and nine and a quarter are your score lines down. This is a odd numbered page. So I know because it's an odd numbered page, small half inch score line 
along the long side here goes at the top. Let's give that a quick fold and a burnish. And all the other score lines I'm going to fold inwards. Oh, these aren't very good scores. That's better. <laughs> oh, so I just dropped that on the floor. I'm trying not to put anything on my floor, but actually get things in my bin for a change. <laughs> not doing very well <laughs> hasn't worked so far okay so we have the flap at the top and then we have one and three quarter inches with a quarter of an inch gusset on one side now I want to do the same for the other side And I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning or not, but I'm pretty sure this craft cardstock is it's either 270 or 280 GSM, which I use for the base pages. I've used a lighter cardstock to make like the pockets and such like because you don't need such a heavy cardstock because obviously they're layered. Right. Then with this small top flap facing me I'm going to cut at just down on the score line on that top half an inch on the two inch and nine inch score lines which leaves me two tabs each end which I am going to cut off and discard. I don't often throw my little bits away but really I don't think there's any point in keeping those. And because I cannot cut in a straight line for love nor money, uh, I'm going to use a ruler. I'm going to use this ruler. <laughs> uh, the reason I like this ruler, apart from the fact that it's metal, it has a felt, uh, actually I think it's neoprene base, so it doesn't slip. And it's very good for just doing little cuts, not too long. One. Next, I want to turn it over onto the reverse and up to the one and three quarter inch score line, but not over it, I want to add some tape. And I think I'm playing Hunt the Score Tape now. <laughs> oh dear, this is what happened. Oh, it's, in my, it's right in front of me. This is what happens when I tidy up. I lose track of where I put everything. So, just in front of that three, one and three quarter inch score line, on the flap side, I'm about to add some tape. No mitering of the edges. You want to do the same on the other side as well. Like so you don't want to cover your gussets, you just want to put it up to the gusset. So ladies and gents, no matter where you may be, please leave your gussets free. That was easy. Now then, on this one I had it opening on 
this side and as I'm pretty sure both of these are the same I'm going to put a tag on each side now now then so I need two of those one two I'm just going to make sure that I haven't got one slightly smaller than the other no sometimes I do cut a bit off but because I have the gussets it should be okay <coughs> because um, I'm going to be decorating uh, this piece I'm not putting any adhesive down each side I'll do that after it's been decorated so I'm going to lay this down so that my gussets are hidden away onto the table so I've just got the one and three quarter inch flap here the gusset is underneath there should never tidy up. I can never find anything when I've tidied up. I'm going to remove this tape backing. Not to put anything on the floor. I managed to get it into my bin. Add a little bit of glue on top of that tape. And with my seven and three quarter by seven inch piece, I'm going to put it directly on top of this flap, right up to that gusset edge, and line it up flat and level to the page underneath, to the base page. That looks good. There's a little bit of overhang on that side. I know I'm being very fussy, but I want this to be perfect. <laughs> Let's try that one again. Top to bottom. Perfect. <laughs> Now I want to do the same the other side. With the other flap that I put up here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to open this up out of the way, fold this over and make sure my gussets are hidden away onto the table. So I've just got the one and three quarter inch flap release the tape backing it's much quicker when you just chuck your rubbish on the floor you know <laughs> add some glue and then do exactly the same as you did the other side place this that's my phone <laughs> on top and make sure that it's lined up exactly level with the page underneath the easy bit so on this page it folded this way so on this page we're having this side on top I do believe that's right I opened this way didn't it it did so I'm going to put in the left hand flap first and the right hand flap on top and then I'm going to work on the front now the front cover is very simply I'm dropping my bits on the floor I 
pocket that is going the opening towards the right so this is uh, eight and three quarter inches by seven inches and it's scored at half an inch each side on the eight and three quarter inch side making sure you've got this the right way around it's going here now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up this way so if I have any overhang I can just chop it off the bottom so uh, now do I want to do this See, this is where I sit and I think things and I waste a lot of time thinking about what I'm doing rather than just doing it. So, I'm going to get my tape on first. Tape, tape, tape. 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 Let's not forget a small piece at the bottom because nobody likes everything falling out of their bottom. Right to those edges. Now I know that this is seven inches and the flap that goes in the middle is only five inches so I want to measure in an inch from each side that's quite easy I'm going to do it on here so I can actually see it so you want to measure in one inch and one inch So I've measured it in an inch each way. So I now have two pockets. One of them has in written on it and one of them doesn't have anything. So I know that this pocket is the pocket that goes inside. Now this is the one that's got the score line one eighth, no one sixteenth of an inch. One sixteenth of an inch I think it is over. Now on the original page this opened up here, this opened up here. So the top flap opens from this side, so the inside flap goes on this side. So it goes right up to the edge. Okay, tape. I'm flapping again keep on losing things <laughs> as well as my mind okay so I'm going to take both of these flaps so they're nice and handy let's put some tape onto the flaps so they're both exactly the same but one of them has the score line slightly over This one here, I know this is the outer one because it opens up this way. That's right, keep on checking on my original. Okay, let's mite these edges. I'm going to get this one down first. Put 
some of this stuff away. <laughs> Get some glue on there. Now this has to go onto those one inch lines. And I can put it over slightly if I need to, but I shouldn't need to. And that goes right up to the pocket edge that I've already cut. So bear that in mind when you cut the edges, what kind of edge you want, if you want an edge. Uh, where it's going to come down to in relation to the flaps that you're going to use here. Okay, now I want to put the second one in. I'm going to mitre. So I tidy up, I put things away and I don't know what I put, where I put them. <laughs> okay. Mitre, mitre, mitre. Tape backing off. on and this one goes on the one inch mark on the left hand side and it should just miss the crease here so it's not going to interfere at all with the opening and closing of this flap and when it's down the top flap hides the bottom flap completely looks good to me and in the center there needs to be that pocket, which I do believe is this one. It's the same height as the one in there, so I didn't actually um, <coughs> make a mistake. I thought I'd use this pocket on the previous one, on the previous page. Ah. Tape backing on. Not forgetting a bit along the bottom because, come on, you can say it, people. <laughs> Nobody likes anything falling out of their bottom. Mitre, 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 mitre. Once again, don't mitre if you don't like to mitre. I know a lot of people don't like to mitre. They think it weakens the pocket. I just find it slightly easier to decorate it when it's all put together. I think the only time really you absolutely must mitre uh, your edges is if you have, if I had a flap at the bottom here as well, when you get those corners joining you really do want to mitre to reduce bulk that's the only time really you need to mitre let's get some glue onto here and then pop this pocket at the bottom and it should fit just in between those score lines just so that should close that should close I'm pull that up a bit I think and that's better <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so that's going that side, that's going that side. Let's not forget a magnet here. Back to the main one, I'm going to put here that I want a magnet here as well. So I don't forget. Did I put a magnet at the top and bottom? Or... No, it's at the top and the bottom. So not in the middle. Right. Also, I have to remember the belly band on that page, which I will do in a moment. Okay, so you've got your pocket that you've made with your flippy flippy pocket, and you have the main page that you've made, which is the base page with a flip flip and that there. So the right hand flap on top and the pocket is going with the pocket opening on the right. So I'm going to lay this out so that I can just see this top piece that I'm working on, knowing that it has to go here, and then if I need to cut anything off I'm going to cut it off of the flap as it hangs over this free edge. Okay, oh, there's some more of that paper tape, and it's not going to show but it's going to annoy you because I, that I know it's there, there we go. <laughs> Tape backing off. Glue on. Okay, my gusset is up here, my free edge is here, I'm putting the pocket on with the opening of the pocket towards the gusset, right up to the edge. Turn that over, crikey that is a good fit, don't need to cut anything off whatsoever, it's Perfect. <laughs> Do you like it when things go perfectly? Okay, the final thing left to do on this page is to put on belly band so once again I know that this is seven inches so three and a half inches each side is the center that's the center and this did I say it was one and a quarter I did didn't I which means that that's there and there do the same to the bottom Three and a half, three and a half. This is my center point. Oops. This is my center point. Going out to here and here because that's one and a quarter inches. And no mitering because it's only a tiny bit. Let's get this bit. Nicely in the center, top and bottom. Make 
make sure I'm not sticking it down underneath. And that is the basics of page seven, <laughs> which will be decorated very similar to page two. It's the same as page two, but opposite. So we've got the pocket on this side. See, opposite pockets, then it opens opposites and opposites. This one then opens this way, so this one opens this way, and then oh. so who made a huge mistake? <laughs> Can you guess? It was me. Right, I'm gonna have to take this off. Because I forgot to put my pockets on. <laughs> supposed to be pockets before these bits. Okay. Oh, well, I better get this off. I might have to cut some extra bits. Oh, no. That one's okay-ish that one's okay <laughs> can you believe I did that? I can actually, this is me we're talking about I want to be very very careful because I don't want to damage this piece too much because obviously it has my pocket and everything on the front. See? Pockets. Look who forgot the pocket. <laughs> oh dear. I did, I did, I did. What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. So remember people, you do not do as I did. <laughs> that should come off okay. Yep, that's fine. And that's fine. I'm going to glue that bit down though. There's me thinking, I've got all my measurements right, I haven't made a mistake. <laughs> okay. I don't want to uh, there we go okay so this one went on this side this one went on this side I do believe yes it did okay so the first thing I need now <laughs> is to put the pockets on before I attach the flap simples huh and I've put an arrow to indicate which way is up because I've already cut the paper and the paper is directional. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I am so sorry for flapping you about again, people. But you really should be used to it by now. <laughs> Par for the course. Watching people make mistakes. And that's why we watch things like You've Been Framed. <laughs> Actually, that's a lie. I don't watch You've Been Framed. I don't like to see people in pain. <laughs> right. Not forgetting this bit along the bottom because nobody wants anything falling out of their bottom. Again. <laughs> That's all I need to put the tape on the wrong side. Okay, and what I think I'm going to do 
because it's slightly thicker I'm going to use the red line tape in this size because I think this is the same size as the score tape so this one goes here that one goes there this one goes here this one goes here my sir I'm flustered now <laughs> coffee I need coffee Not helping. <laughs> right, let's get these edges mitered, mitered first. Ooh. That'll teach me to put things out, won't it? Okay. Once again. So basically, you do everything exactly the same way I did, but you don't put these flaps on until after you've put the pockets on them first. So once again, I'm using red line tape here because it is slightly thicker than score tape. And I'm also going to pop some glue on there. And red line tape. That's the top, that goes each side, this goes this side. So this pocket onto this side. Let's just pretend that everything went really well. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Glue onto my pocket, which I forgot to put on earlier. So before you put your seven and three quarter by seven inch flaps on, you must put on your pocket like so or very similar like so <laughs> there we go <laughs> then you put the <laughs> then you put it on the flap okay <laughs> so this is my right hand one and this is the one with um the pocket on the front okay here we go without getting my head in the way i do apologize if my head keeps getting in the way up to the top make sure my gussets are down Line it up. That's not straight. <laughs> okay, let's do it this way. That's the right way. <laughs> I'm paranoid now. It's like, oh no, what else can go wrong? That's better. Actually, but that bit went on better than what it did the first time round. And remember, after I've decorated this bit, I will be gluing down each side here, and that just makes it a little bit stronger and uh, hides the mistake that I made anyway. <laughs> okay, now this side. Oh, isn't it 
lovely that children have a hobby with their motorbikes. <laughs> Right, so tape off this side. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Glue on. of this page well obviously it's not the bottom it is the right hand side of the left hand flap on the inside of the flap okay just going to trim that bit there now this has to go on here <laughs> So my gussets are down on the table, so I can't see them. Let's take that tape back in off, add some glue. And the same with page two. Remember the bottom of, let's get this in camera. The bottom of the pocket attaches to the sticky, um, the sticky tape on the flap, okay? Turn this round so that I can line it up properly. We hope. Straight down onto the page. Perfect. It would need to be after all of that. Okay. <laughs> so, nice and easy there. Page seven. <laughs> you have open, and I'll have a magnet on it. Open pocket. Shut. shut pocket on here this all opens pocket and there'll be this will be a tuck pocket belly band opens up mirror image on this side tuck pocket pocket page seven done and I will show you it decorated when I go on to do page eight sorry everyone but thank you for watching bye for now